What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Diria and today I want to talk about my 2021 shower routine. Sorry for the condition of my hair today, so it's not the best day to try and talk about my routine, but I wanted to update it because my old one was a little bit older and a little bit past, so I just wanted to make it clear that I have a new one and it's not so different, but I want to update you. This is also my first video on this position. I hope it's not distracting, I hope it's not so bad. So let's already start with the first things to do. Well, of course, my hair routine starts in the shower. So the first thing that I do is take a cold shower. Cold water really helps for everything, for your skin, for your heart, for the immune system, for your energies, and also for your hair. It helps your hair to grow faster. It helps your hair to be uh, healthier, and it helps them be better looking as well. If you never tried a cold uh, shower, check out Wim Hof, the Iceman. He always speaks about breathing exercises and cold showers. I started with watching his YouTube videos and I learned a lot, so check him out. So I start with one or two minutes of cold shower. You can also have it tepid water or at least a little colder than usual. Try to have a wash to your entire body, your hair, and then switch it to a normal shower, your hot shower or whatever you prefer. Don't make it too traumatic for your hair, so don't switch from super cold to super hot. Try to make it a little bit better for your hair because it do, you don't want to shock them. And the first thing that I apply is my shampoo. I use this shampoo at the moment. It's the Shea Moisture uh, Coconut and Hibiscus Cur and Shine Shampoo. This also helps to make it curlier. So if you want to try other products, I try to implement the curly girl method as well, which means trying to not having sulfates colors or other or too many chemicals inside your products i try to make it as natural as possible maybe in the beginning with natural products your hair are not used to it so they're gonna feel a little worse but after a while you'll see that the they actually get better inside so they get healthier and healthier means also better looking so they will slowly uh up, improve themselves with natural products. I tried a lot of them and Shea Moisture is not sponsored but the links are all in the description. They are a field link if you want to help me. They are really, really good. I tried them and all the people that I made it try, they all thanked me uh, and also you can see the reviews on Amazon, that's why I bought them. There are some others which are more expensive but this is good for also the price and mm, like, 70% of my other products are uh, from Shea Moisture. So it's something that I really suggest. So what I do, I shampoo twice. So I put a little bit of shampoo and I put it on my scalp and on my hair and I massage for a couple of minutes and then I wait for 30 seconds and then I rinse with tepid water, lukewarm water, and then I shampoo again. In the middle, I try other things. In the meanwhile, I also uh, wash my body and other things. If I have to shave, I shave. Then I shampoo another uh, time. So once again, shampoo, I try to massage. If you have natural products this time, you will have some foam uh, creating it. And so you keep massaging here behind the ears, everywhere. You massage not too strong, not too hard, but you have to massage the scalp to make it also be more efficient. You see no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petrolatum. And then I wait for four to five minutes, so a little longer, and then I rinse off everything. I don't put my shampoo on my tips, I just put it on my scalp and everything around it. So after that, what I do is, depending on the day, so I shower twice per week, only twice per week, I shower my body almost every day but I tend to shower my hair only twice per week and you see if you have curly hair like mine or wavy hair you'll notice that after a while you, your hair get used to less and less help from the outside so it cleans itself and it's also healthier and you'll notice that the more you shower them the more you clean them the worse it is so twice per week it's a good compromise it's not that bad what I apply is a conditioner or a mask, so hair mask, depending on which day. So once per week I apply the conditioner, once per week I apply the intensive hair mask. They are both from Shea Moisture. The conditioner is Jamaican black castor oil, which also helps with uh, making your hair longer and healthier. Strengthen and restore conditioner with Shea Butter. 
peppermint and apple cider vinegar. And the hair mask is Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil. They also have a lot of different ingredients and mixed ones, so you can also check out. They have there. I have a lot of different ones depending on the things that you need for your hair and depending also on your hair type. They are also very natural, and I just love them. Also, the the smelling is very good. They're not so expensive. I just love them. So basically, my shampoo makes my hair um, wavier and good looking, and this one really helps with restoring and strengthening. And this one is super super good for hydration and making my hair healthy again. So it's free combination of these three things, which is really, really helpful. So if it's the conditioner day, I just apply my conditioner, a lot of it on my tips, just on the tips. Sometimes I apply on the scalp, but most of the time just on the tips and I leave it there for five to 10 minutes. And if it's the mask, I do the same only on the tips, maybe sometimes on the scalp, because these are natural, they're pretty good. I apply them and leave them there for five to 20 minutes, really depending on the day, on how much time I have it. In the meanwhile, I tend to shave, keep going with my routine, keep going with my shower routine. And I also use a wooden white teeth comb uh, by Eclef. This is by Eclef, but you can find a lot of them on the internet, on Amazon. These are uh, really good reviews. What this does, I only when, with, when I have conditioner on or the hair mask on, I just pick from the tip and detangle my hair, then here, and then here, and then the other side, and then everything back. So this is really good, and if it's wooden, it's also better because it's not static for your hair, so it doesn't make it frizzy. Uh, if you have curly hair, it makes it very nice, detangled, and healthy. And it makes also the product go everywhere uh, to all your hair. And then after everything, I just rinse, 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 I make sure that I rinse everything. And then when I finish, I tend to finish with a, a cold shower if it's daytime or a warm shower, warm water if it's nighttime because then I can sleep better. If it's if you want more energy, I tend to uh, use cold in the end for five, like 15 seconds. And then I just go like this and squeeze the water out of my hair, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then do a little bit like this and then squeeze again so that the air comes out of, uh, sorry, the water comes out of my air. When I go out, I just go like this all around and with a microfiber towel, I scrunch from the tips. So from down, downwards to upward, upward I scrunch like this on my hair. Why? Because it removes, it gets rid of all the excess water and the microfiber towel is also very good for your frizzy hair. If you have frizzy hair, it makes it look better. It makes it also healthier. It doesn't ruin your hair. It's not stressful for your hair. It absorbs a lot of water. You can also use cotton towels or a cotton t-shirt. It's also very helpful. And I do this because I don't use an air dryer. I don't like using a hair dryer. I never use the hair dryer. I think that it completely ruins and destroys your hair. I know that you can use it if you have like a diffuser and you do it very gently with not so hot air. Uh, you can do it sometimes to make some cool uh, styles or do some sort or, or make it a little bit more curly if you don't have curly hair. You can do it, but I just try to make it a little healthier and get a lot of the water in excess. Uh, just get rid of it with the microfiber tower and squeezing it out of it. And then I just let it dry by itself in around 30, 45 minutes, one hour maximum, they are completely dry and I can go um, wherever I want. If I want to make it faster with clean hands, so don't try to touch it too many times, I sometimes open it like this so that more air comes through and it dries itself a little faster. And while it's drying, what I do is I uh, style. So I use these three things to style. Right now I'm just using this one. This is by Revlon Professional Style Master 2 Orbital. This is really good, it's like a gel that you put, it's really light and you put it and it makes your curly, your, your curls uh, be thicker, be better and also more defined and less frizzy. So I just put 
my styling products only on the tips so i go downward with my head and I just put it a little bit just a little bit on the tips sometimes i also use the denman brush if i want to make my curls be even more defined so if i want to make it more uh, more volume or if i want to just brush them in a certain way maybe um, backwards if i want to put them completely backwards. So depending on the style, I sometimes use the Denman brush. This is really helpful. It has a lot of good reviews on the internet just for this kind of style for curly hair. And this is all while they're still drying. So while they're still a little wet. And if I want to add a little bit more of a wavy, beachy kind of style, I add a sea salt spray texturizing spray so this gives like a texture beach wave i don't use it too much sometimes i use it depending on some jobs that i have to do on my modeling career or on my uh, acting career uh, just on the tips don't put your styling products on your scalp because it ruins your scalp it can occlude your pores and it makes your hair dirtier uh, even when you shower don't shower just with uh, water use always some product at least because you can occlude and close your pores and it makes it dirtier and un it's unhealthy so i just put some sea salt texturizing spray this is moisturizing this is not actually sea salt that makes your hair drier or it makes it worse it actually helps a lot it has like aloe vera and uh, leaf juice and other things inside of it so the moisturizer were giving this kind of texture of beach wave but normally i just put this and that's it. And that's it guys, this is my hair routine at the moment. Some other little tips, of course, drink a lot of water. Water really helps. This is my bottle of water, it's in copper. The copper really helps as well. If you let your, in yoga, we say that if you let your water stay in a copper vessel for one hour, one hour, one hour and a half, it purifies the water. You can also use some supplements. A multivitamin or an omega-3 really helps for your hair as well and your skin. And also using a good pillow, like the beauty pillow, link in the description. It's not sponsored, but I really like it. And a uh, uh, silk pillowcase, it really, really helps. Silk pillowcase for your uh, skin and your hair. It makes it less fuzzy when you wake up they're not like frizzy anymore they are better the style that you did lasts longer they don't get dirty too fast and it makes your hair doesn't break too much as without a silk pillowcase so it really helps they cost a little bit but it's really something extremely efficient and powerful for your hair and your beauty care routine and also having a good workout routine and food routine, so having a good diet, uh, eating a lot of vegetables, e eating good fruit, eating the proper things and having like a good lifestyle, being outside in the sun, trying to use some UV protector if you stay in the sun too much for your hair, there are some sprays about it. So just try to not stress your hair too much, have a healthy routine, use these things. This is my routine and that's it guys. I also made some other videos if you want to check them out with other tips. If you have any other uh, question, just let me know in the comments or check me out on Instagram, marcodelia97. That's it. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.